Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. As global technological competition becomes increasingly fierce, the chip industry has become the focus of international competition. The United States' suppression of China's high-tech industry, especially restrictions in the chip field, has made China face unprecedented challenges in this key field. NVIDIA, as the world's leading chip manufacturer, plays the role of a beneficiary in this game, but also faces complex choices in the market. NVIDIA has won 90 billion orders in the Chinese market and will deliver 1 million AI chips. But this also means that the dilemma of China's chip industry is coming. NVIDIA, a semiconductor company known worldwide for its graphics processing units, GPUs, and artificial intelligence, EI, chips, has shown amazing growth momentum in 2024. Its stock price rose by as much as 141% in one year. Its market value soared to 3.54 trillion US dollars, and CEO Huang Renxuan's personal net worth also soared to 60.5 billion US dollars, becoming one of the fastest growing wealth in the world. Behind this brilliant achievement, NVIDIA's deep cultivation in the Chinese market is inseparable. China, as one of the world's largest consumer markets for electronic products, has a strong demand for high-performance chips. NVIDIA's products, especially its AI chips, have an important position in the Chinese market, contributing a quarter of its total sales. However, as the Sino-US technology war escalates, NVIDIA's most advanced AI chips, such as the A100, are subject to US export controls and cannot be freely sold to Chinese customers. Faced with this dilemma, NVIDIA has adopted a flexible strategy. On the one hand, it complies with US regulations to restrict the export of high-end chips. On the other hand, in order to maintain its market share in China, NVIDIA has launched so-called castrated chips, such as the A800 and H800, which have reduced computing power but can still meet the basic needs of the Chinese market. This strategy not only allows NVIDIA to continue to make profits in the Chinese market, but also helps it avoid the risk of U.S. sanctions. According to the Financial Times, NVIDIA expects to deliver 1 million AI chips with a total value of up to 90 billion yuan. Although these chips are expensive, with an average price of 90,000 yuan per chip, they are still in short supply. This reflects China's huge demand in the field of AI chips and the shortcomings of domestic chips in performance. And the happiest one to receive so many orders is undoubtedly NVIDIA. The Dilemma of China's Chip Industry NVIDIA's success in the Chinese market highlights the severe challenges facing China's chip industry. In the field of AI chips, there is a significant technological gap between China and the United States and the West. This gap is not only reflected in the design and production of chips, but also involves the layout of the entire industrial chain and the construction of the ecosystem. Although China has increased its investment and support for the chip industry in recent years, encouraging companies to increase their R&D efforts and promote technological innovation, it is still difficult to make up for the technological gap with the United States and the West in the short term. Even the NVIDIA chip with castrated performance far exceeds the level of current domestic AI chips. 
This has led to Chinese companies often having to rely on imports when facing demand for high-end chips. In addition, U.S. export controls have also brought additional pressure to China's chip industry. On the one hand, this has restricted the channels for Chinese companies to obtain advanced technology and equipment. On the other hand, it has also intensified the competitive pressure on domestic chips in the market. In this case, China's chip industry needs to take the path of independent innovation more firmly and accelerate the pace of technological research and development and industrial upgrading. In the face of challenges and pressures, China's chip industry needs to take a series of measures to cope with them. First, it is necessary to increase R&D investment and enhance independent innovation capabilities. By strengthening basic research, breaking through key technical bottlenecks, and cultivating high-quality talents, we will promote the technological progress and industrial upgrading of the chip industry. Secondly, we must strengthen the cooperation between upstream and downstream of the industrial chain. The chip industry is a highly integrated industrial chain that requires close cooperation and coordinated operations in all links. The Chinese chip industry should strengthen cooperation and exchanges between upstream and downstream enterprises in the industrial chain to form a good situation of complementary advantages and coordinated development. In addition, we must actively explore the international market. Although the current Chinese chip industry faces many challenges and difficulties in the international market, we must also see the opportunities and potential. By strengthening cooperation and exchanges, with international advanced enterprises and participating in the formulation of international standards, we can enhance the international competitiveness and influence of the Chinese chip industry. Finally, we must strengthen support and guidance. We should continue to increase support for the chip industry, introduce more preferential measures and incentive mechanisms, and provide a good environment and market environment for the development of the chip industry. In short, NVIDIA has delivered 1 million AI chips, and the Chinese chip industry is expected to achieve greater breakthroughs and development in the future. Although the road ahead is long and full of challenges, as long as China is confident and forges ahead, it will surely usher in a brilliant tomorrow for the Chinese chip industry.